Hey there chameleons, it's Camille, and today I'm bringing you a video that you probably did not expect from me, but it's a back to school video since I am actually going back to school after my gap year. This video includes quick makeup that's perfect for school, several outfit ideas, and some home decor ideas. Starting out with makeup, let's just prime our face real quick because at school you're going to be there for hours and you want your makeup to stay on. I'm dotting my foundation all over my face with my finger and blending it with a damp beauty blender sponge just because that is the quickest and easiest method of blending out foundation. And when you're in school, you don't have time in the mornings because I know you're waking up late. Now I'm going to throw on a little bit of concealer just to brighten up those under eyes and the other dark areas on my face and blending it with the beauty blender once again. It only takes a few seconds to do this so I recommend using that sponge. I'm setting that using my huge fluffy brush so I can get all over my face just very softly and evenly and quickly. Now you're just going to fill in your brows however you want, and I know brows can take a while, so if you can figure out the easiest and best way for you to do this, I would definitely recommend that before school starts. I'm priming my lids because when I prime my face, I don't have to worry about it all day, and I hate worrying about that at school. I'm using this beautiful bronzed color from NYX just all over my lids, and that's all you need. If you use a shimmery color, it's enough. Now I'm going to put on some highlight, and of course I'm using my favorite highlighter as usual, and just highlighting everywhere on my face with this, because that way you only have to use one product, and since it's something that I love and I know will give me some results and reflection, that's all I need in my life. <laughs> I'm skipping eyeliner because that takes too long and I'm just throwing on some mascara. Whatever mascara you're currently loving and gives you that volume that you crave will be perfect for this. Especially since we're not adding any eyeliner, you want your mascara to be nice and thickening and voluminous so you get your eyes that nice pop without having to go in with that liquid and taking like five hours to get the perfect wing. I recommend using a nude or a color really close to your natural lip color when you're going to school so you don't have to worry about it smudging or getting on your teeth or coming off when you eat. And then of course I'm going to touch up those baby hairs. You can either pull out your baby hairs and style them or you can just slick down your edges and give them a nice swoop. Whatever you're into and whatever looks best on your hair. I'm gonna shake it out, pump up that volume, really get it going girl. And there you go, hair and makeup done. So here are three simple outfit ideas you can use on any day when you want to look good but you don't really know what to wear and you don't have time to spend on your outfit. I like to start with three simple pairs of shoes, including one pair of sneakers for walking around in comfy days. And then I like to have a pair of flats that are cute but also good for walking around. And then when those days you feel like stunting on people, of course you can have your slightly heeled Chelsea boots. Still comfortable to wear, but they look really good. I'd recommend that everyone has a CLBD. I threw the C in there for casual, so a casual little black dress that you can wear to school. It doesn't really require any time picking it out, and you can pair it with those cute Chelsea boots, and then you can look like you actually tried that day. Similarly, I love to have patterned clothes because it gives it way more detail without you having to figure out different layers for an outfit. And since this is a romper, it's just one single piece and then you can throw on those flats and you're good to go. This last outfit is mad casual, so if you're gonna be going to a bunch of classes that day and you know you're gonna be walking around and you just wanna be comfy but cute, you can throw on some ripped jeans, which gives you that nice texture but is also very comfortable, and then throw on your sneakers, and then I like to add either a crop top or an off-the-shoulder shirt or just something interesting on top. This one's from Redbubble, and it's wide enough at the top that you can do off one shoulder, off two shoulders, whatever, and it makes the outfit a little bit cuter. Now packing my backpack, here are some of my back to school essentials. I'm starting with my handy dandy planner, which was given to me by Leah, and that's where I track everything that I need to do that month, that day, and events and everything, so that's a must have. Next I have this adorable portable mug from Redbubble, and it's perfect for carrying my green tea, because as I transition away from coffee into tea, I want some way to carry it with me to class. Next I have my rose water spray, so whenever I just need to hydrate myself or freshen or awaken myself, I have something to spray my face with. I just love this, I, I don't know, it's just fun. Of course I have my phone in my charger, no explanation needed there. Next, I have this sunflower printed notebook, also from Redbubble, partially because it's adorable and it makes me happy looking at it, and partially because 
I need to take notes and write stuff while I'm in school. They have a whole back to school collection right now and you can check it out on their site which is linked down below as well as all of the products that I featured in this video. And then of course you gotta have some pens and a pencil. I have decided to spruce up my living space a little bit before school starts. I got a few items from Redbubble, including the succulent clock that matches with my portable mug. And I got a few posters because there was a lot of white space on the wall and it just feels a little bit more at home and decorated when you fill in that white space. These are actually all made by different artists and if you check out the Redbubble site, you'll see that they have artists in 190 different countries. So you can always find something cool on there. This one's my favorite piece because it promotes diversity, and that's really what the whole world is all about. Can I get an amen? Amen. So I hope you guys like my tips on back-to-school makeup, fashion, and home decor. If you guys are in school, comment down below and let me know what your major is, and if you're not in college yet, let me know what your grade is and what you're interested in. So thank you, chameleons, for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other social channels linked down below. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.